Well, hi, I'm Dylan Black. Welcome to Tuesday's edition of Daytime Ottawa right here on Rogers TV. Beautiful day in the nation's capital and many beautiful stories and guests to get to uh, right now. Let's get right into it. Uh, she is a best-selling author. Uh, over three million copies of her series has been sold. That's incredible. She joins us right now to keep us healthy, our mind, our body. Her name is Tosca Reno. Hello, Tosca. Hi, Dylan. So nice to be here. It's a pleasure to have you Thank here. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Three million copies? Yes, over three million copies. So um, shocking. <laughs> that's quite a lot. So how do you how do you feel about that? I mean, how do you? Wow. Um, <laughs> well, if you ask me if I could achieve something like that, even you know, 17 years ago, I would have said no way. Mm -hmm. I, I was um, an obese woman, 204 pounds, um, unhappy, depressed. Uh, I had uh, heart issues, blood sugar dysregulation. I, I, now I just think. If we can just wipe the veil of un unhealthy eating away from us through eating clean, um, so much becomes clear. And mm -hmm. I've had the privilege of that clarity over these last years. Well, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Lots of challenges to get there, though. Yeah, many challenges. Okay. Yes. 13 books in the series? 13. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are there hopes for more books? There are. I have a story to tell, right? When we yeah. have a story to tell, we must tell it. So, okay. yeah. So, um, and, and part of my story really is that, that I feel like I'm a wellness whisperer because we can change how we look and feel on a daily basis simply by what we eat mm -hmm. and and sometimes the worst feeling is simply not getting enough fiber in the diet and needing to up that so we can just get things moving because if things aren't moving you're not moving <laughs> you know so I know we yeah, have to get yeah, right to the heart of it right okay. <laughs> so um, and I had to learn those lessons because there are so many there I think two-thirds of the population is constipated. Can we say that word on date? Okay, just did. good. Yeah. We just did. That's fair. <laughs> so one of one of my messages is more fiber. More fiber. Fiber means fun. So Tosca had. <laughs> yes, I've never. Well, I've never heard that before. Fiber's fiber is fun. Means fun, but I do believe it. I well, it makes you it. feel better. I mean, when we can keep our fiber intake up, so much happens. Fiber helps us get rid of toxins in the body. I mean, really, like mops up toxins, um, lowers cholesterol, actually helps you lose weight, mm -hmm. believe it or not, and you know makes things move regularly. So okay. I've, I've sort of pre-made a smoothie, but you're going to help me because we're going to put okay. some sure. uh, sweet factor in. One of the things that's sure to kill um, the ability for us to have healthy moving bowels and not have symptoms of IBS and so on is sugar. We eat way too much sugar. Mm -hmm. 170 pounds per person on average per year. And I'm um, not eating my share, and you're probably not eating yours, so somebody's getting it. That's a lot. Some okay. naturally sweet raspberries. Raspberries are beautifully in season. How many okay. we're looking you at You just make that look good? good, yep. Um, and so the key here is to put lots of fiber in your smoothie. Now, people make the mistake of just putting sweet in. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to get it. I'm going to make some noise. Yep. Okay. There we go. And when we just put sweet in, we, we get flavor, but we don't actually get the fiber that we need. So we put lots of greens, spinach, chia. So that's what's in there already? Yes. So okay. I've got spinach, chia seed, coconut water, and uh, you can add something like Metamucil as a good fiber supplement, okay. which is great because it not only bulks, but it fills you up. Okay. So you know how people are always just hungry and wanting to hang off the fridge door every second? Yeah, of course. Yeah, especially when you're trying to lose weight. Yeah. Uh, so that will help. It actually curves. Okay. So <laughs> this looks kind of gloppy. Okay. No, it's fine. There you go. Sure, and uh, basically, this is the same smoothie. Mm. Um, <clears throat> It's pretty green. No, it's green, but, but it, it tastes healthy, which is obviously what you're... Part of it, right? You and, know. and so the key is to make sure you put a lot of fiber in there. You can use spinach, but you can also use kale. You can use... Actually, red leaf lettuce has a higher antioxidant rating than kale. Red leaf lettuce. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it'll wipe away signs of aging or uh, radical... Uh, sorry, free well... Free Free radical damage in your cells. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. Ooh, I'm it works so quick too. I, need, I think I need to take a break here. No. Oof. Yes, just, I, I once yeah. gave a smoothie like this to my sister. Okay. Yeah. This can be a sign of. Hold how, on, where's the story going? Yeah, to yeah. the bathroom. Okay. Basically. <laughs> it was so nutrient dense that after, in an hour, yeah. she basically had to pull off the road because it was so nutrient dense. That's, I better not drink too much because yeah. I need to get through the show. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but um, making smoothies like that and Filling them with fiber and nutrients really changes your life. And I guess now I look at every meal mm -hmm. as an opportunity to nourish myself. It's not about what I'm having chicken or hamburger. It's like, well, what, what can I put in my body so I can feel my best? I'm a grandma. I'm 58 mm -hmm. years old. I'm mm -hmm. in my 59th year. I'm, I'm enjoying what that means, you know, to be... Um, 
to enjoy the privilege of mm -hmm. health and wellness and mobility. And uh, that's the example I want to set for the generation that's to beautiful. come. That's beautiful. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and you also uh, talk about the three E's of wellness yes. as well. So, so what are the three E's? So we, we talk about eating clean. According to the World Health Organization, the governing body of wellness, wellness isn't the absence of disease, which I would think that that would be the definition, but it is actually the presence of the practices of eating clean, of exercise, so being physically present in your day, moving your body, and emotional wellness. Mm -hmm. And I always say, uh, my career was born in the pages of Oxygen Magazine, Cover Girl, blah, 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 at the age of 42, but what the piece that was missing for me was that connection, the head-heart connection. And you can't be fully well if you're not connected with your head and your heart. So okay. something as simple as meditating for 10 minutes a day through science actually shows that it can reduce blood pressure, reduce anxiety, make you healthier, but it also makes you more present and mindful. Mm -hmm. So I always do this thing where when I meet people, I'm with them long enough and look at them long enough that I can tell the color of their eyes. And I don't just, so it's the bellman at the hotel or it's someone who served my coffee. I'm gonna know what color your eyes are and if you're wearing a name tag, I'm gonna read your name tag. I'm gonna connect with you. So you're saying that you live in the moment, you, like you breathe no. in it. It's the old saying, stop and smell the flowers basically, right? And, or the roses and this, yeah. is, this is what you practice. Because Dylan, we can look a certain way and we can look a certain way on television, but the truth is we all live life and life gives us hits and some of it isn't pleasant. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've lost a son, I've lost a husband, I've lost a family business, I've lost everything. Um, but I can show up every day and be grateful because there's a lot that I can be grateful for and that keeps me present and grounded. And I think that offers hope to others that it's possible for them too. You know, I love this because you, you obviously are taking great care of yourself and you've been through all this emotional stuff. Even off air we were talking about all this yeah. and, and you have this big smile. Even when you walked into the green room, you had this big smile and we just knew you were the real deal. So thank you very much for oh, sharing this with us here you. today. That's so delightful. And I'm sure, are we, are we hugging on TV? Can we? Because that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very I much. Thank uh, you so much. Tosca Reno, thank you very much for uh, sharing uh, Thanks, all Dylan. your amazing advice here uh, today on Rogers Daytime. Uh, yes, ToscaReno.com, by the way, if you want uh, more details on everything she does. We've got more coming up in moments right here on Rogers TV.